you have gone through the baptism of water. The baptism of fire is next. You have birthed a higher self. It is time to leave the material world mentally and focus on sacred geometry. Envisioning light and sacred structures to communicate with your rebirthed self, your higher self, to activate the cave of Brahma and to activate your Taurus field. You ready? Close your eyes. Once upon a time, you were alone. Envision a golden circle. This golden circle doubled itself. Born again. This created the Vesica Pisces, the Holy Grail, the eye of the needle and the fish, the water and the flame. You are now not alone. You are spiritually 12 years old and you have a higher self you can communicate with. This higher self speaks through the language known as sacred geometry. Behind every pain and every pleasure is a sacred geometrical shape. These shapes Manifest alchemical transformation, geo, earth, metra, measurement, sacred measurement of the earth, the platonic solids, spirit, earth, air, water, and fire, the octahedron, the tetrahedron, the dodecahedron, the icosahedron, the hexahedron, gold, the grid of life design. Let us begin by making a tetrahedron, a pyramid over our head. Close your eyes and imagine a golden ball above your head. Activate it with sound, joy, light. Now make another ball on the right side above your right shoulder. Activate it with something amazing, an emotion. Create another ball above the left shoulder and activate it. Now imagine a golden light connecting all three balls and fill this area with golden healing, warm, loving, joyful light. This will clear all blockages, darkness, and negativity. This mental practice creates a portal to connect with your higher self and to put you in a zero point energy, which is the Vesica Pisces. When we are in the, the zero point energy, we have become nothing and no one. And by extension, we become everyone and everything. This is the looking glass revisited. This is an old piece that I did for someone. And we're going to revisit this piece looking only at sacred geometry and what their higher self is speaking to them through those geometrical shapes. Let's take notice of the mask above the female around 2 and 3 o'clock. The mask has an eye of fire and an eye of water. This is the baptism of water and the baptism of fire. If the fire and water were to connect, this would reflect flesh marrying spirit and the number 8. It would reflect that we have become whole and have made our way back to our Adam and Eve, our flesh with spirit. This would make the infinity symbol. But because the mask is reflecting the eyes being separated, this 
means that you have gone through the baptism of water, but have not yet gone through the baptism of fire, which is a marriage of flesh with spirit. Now notice the four-petaled, four-circle geometrical shape right there on the right-hand corner. And there are also other geometrical shapes below the Holy Grail and on the mask. This reflects the number 12 and the number 4. There is also a holy dove everywhere in your piece. And this is about a beckoning and a calling of your higher self. There's also a white rabbit. So we have white horses, white rabbits, and it's kind of like the movie The Last Mimsy, where the white rabbit and the spiral called some children to look into sacred geometry. And these sacred geometrical shapes opened portals within their inner world and their outer world, which changed their world. And so these metaphors are popping up in your piece, but especially this four petaled, four circular shape. This shape just so happens to be a crop circle shape. Someone wrote a book about this called The Geometric Keys of Vedic Wisdom. I encourage us all to read this book to understand the communications of God and our higher self. So the four petals are known as the four Visica Pisces, Vesica Pisces. And these are the four corners of our galaxy. They're known as the four spirals. They are no, known as the basis of the division of the zodiac, how the zodiac is cut into 12 months. Four outer circles are drawn into the four cardinal points of the inner circle. It's also known as Vishnu's power with the four petals. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, and Aquarius are part of this particular flower. It is the force of the secret secret unity. It's connected to the cosmic turtle, but to speak in layman's terms, it's that you are 12 years old spiritually and are ready to leave your temple, which means that you are ready to see outside of physical reality and the material world. You are ready to go through the eye of the needle, the Vesica Pisces, a portal. Sacred geometry is also linked to sacred numerology, Jesus Christ has 11 letters in his name. When he was 12, he left the temple. The temple is an allegory for the material world and your physical body, the ability to see beyond the mind and to see through the heart and the higher self. When Harry Potter was 12, he left the muggles and went to Hogwarts and formed a trinity. Harry Potter also has 11 letters in his name. Many of us became 11 years old spiritually during 9-11. 9-11 equals 11, and the two towers looks like the number 11, reflecting the number 11 in the water, which is 11-11. 11-11 is a time of death and life, a time of waking up. It is also known as the two pillars of Solomon's temple, which is an allegory for something coming alive within us. Sirius B, the dog star, or Sirius Black, the dog. This is because God has finally become awoken within our hearts and in our outer reality. We now have the ability to hear the voice of God, which puts us, puts us in a school known as Hogwarts. And Jesus said, my father's house has many mansions. These mansions are schools of understanding that your higher self puts you through like understanding sacred geometry and how the poor four petaled flower is actually linked to the ancient cross. If you look in between the black, you will see the white petals of the flower in your piece. And these petals are cut up into pieces within your piece. So the two pieces of the flower are the fire and the water on the mask. The mask reflects our false self, the self that this program told us we were. Your higher self is the flame that is born in higher realms. This is the woman next to you at nine o'clock. She actually has the threefold flame. This is the three petals of the four petals in your piece. The fourth petal is below the horse's mouth at six o'clock. 
There is a part of yourself above your head at 12 o'clock that is drinking from the Holy Grail and a higher self that is holding an apple. And the apple, as we know, is your tetrahedron. Your tetrahedron will look like a tornado like Dorothy, where the tornado is your Taurus field. And your our world becomes chaotic because the fire will try to kill you. It will kill every belief that you had that isn't true. It will kill all of your emotions that are polarized, and if we do not submit and surrender, Dorothy, to the fire of our higher self, it will ultimately take us down to zero, which is nothing. So dying before we die and surrendering is what our higher self demands of us. But once we surrender, we come into balance and we can go into hearing the voice of spirit, which comes from sacred numerology and sacred geometry. You are crying tears because it is sad. It's sad because we're leaving an old world behind. But it's also great because what would Harry Potter look like if he stayed in the muggle world day after day? (laughs) In my alchemical book here, you can see that it says, you cannot enter into the halls of the gods unless you are eaten by the dragon, the great dragon. And so being eaten by the dragon is a metaphor of letting go of your one circle Dividing yourself into two and then forming the Trinity. This is the triangle, the Harry Potter, the Hermione and the Weasley. And then finally going to the fourth, the four petals. And that is what is in your piece so that you can balance your Taurus field and become half flesh, half spirit and step into your gift because you are the vessel and your higher self is the power. Your outer reality will begin to mirror back to you what is imbalanced within you so any chaos in your world is a sign to let it go forgive it and not to indulge in that drama any longer it's time for us all to seek first the kingdom of god by being devoured by fire and the dragon negativity